What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the Bar of Gay Podcast. I'm Nadim. I'm Stacy D. Oh my gosh, I'm same also joke, Stacy D. Same joke over and over, dude. Mike. Whoa, 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 who am I supposed to say? She's the only one here. Mike. I'm Mike. <laughs> follow me, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. Please Twitch, follow. Like YouTube, a picture, please. Podcast. We're, we're yeah. But not follow me everywhere, but real life. <laughs> You're so embarrassing, Mike. True. Okay. <laughs> what is your most embarrassing gym story? You go. I gotta think. Um, it's not that embarrassing, but I literally almost chopped my toe off before. What happened? So, um, back in the day, uh, I lifted with a bunch of geared lifters. So they use squat suits and stuff. And, uh, I'm using that. Wait, this is embarrassing? Not really. That's what I mean. I don't have an embarrassing one, but it was kind of embarrassing. I almost fainted from cutting my toe off. That's kind of embarrassing because most people are like, it's your toe, bitch. I'm like, bro, this literally I almost lost it. <laughs> yeah, paddles are, are too crazy. They don't give a shit about life. Uh, I'm talking about like, okay, so for example. Yeah, like I shit myself on a squat. I never did that. For example, like yeah. I was too embarrassed to, growing up as a bro, you don't warm up with the bar on bench, right? So you start with the plate, right? Uh -huh. Now, like I go to the gym, I'll do the bar all day. I'll squat with the bar. Uh, but I couldn't even hit a plate. So your like, best is 125. Yeah. 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 So it's like I would go and try to hit a plate and get stuck. And I, I remember I was in a, oh, in a packed dude. gym. And like I <laughs> see like, guys because then guys. like where the benches were, there was hella cardio machines. Right. And that's what <laughs> all the girls yeah, would be. Yeah. Right. And there's all the girls what around you, 16 or something. Yeah, probably. Or no, uh, younger because I was weaker then. Uh, by 16, I was like 225, 3 to 15 bench. Okay. Um, dude. <laughs> yes. I'm strong. <laughs> Um, Why do you only bench 275 now then? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's, uh, maturity bench is a rough there. Yeah. As a reverse effect. But um, I, I, I got stuck. I couldn't hit it up. Right. Um, and I'm literally there looking and these girls are literally looking at me trying to get other people's attention and won't get off the bench to help me. Right. And then everybody everyone, has their headphones on. Yeah. Everyone's but everyone's seeing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah and yeah. I'm like, they're stuck. But no I'm, like, trying to, like, I'm like, like literally like this, like trying to wave at people. Um, and then the people around me, I, I guess, don't see it. And then eventually they come up. Um, and they grab it for me and then like I see people kind of like laughing and it's kind of fucked up I'm like I'm trying to get to the gym trying to get a fitness. Um, no, it's funny. It's funny though, <laughs> but, it, but it's just like uh, I failed a lift, you know, because now you see a failed yeah. lift at the gym You go like, oh shit, my, like, you know, yeah, you yeah. ask for yeah. a spot. You're back, worried. Back then it's like I'm not gonna ask for a spot for something I can't hit, but I'm gonna try to hit the thing I can't hit. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, so that was very embarrassing and then also other things like that. It's like at a commercial gym you're, you shouldn't fail a lift. Like powerlifting is so like a, a new thing, I feel like, uh, especially in commercial gyms where you go and you're hitting a weight that you could do for hella reps. Um, and there's no, there's nothing considered failing at a gym, right? right. Uh, but I would go and try to like learn how to power lift. And then I would, if you literally, if you fail a lift, the whole gym turns and be like, it echoes in that thing. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, this guy does not know what the fuck he's doing in terms of working out. You yeah. Know? He's going too heavy. He's like, and they don't know. But then you're like, I can't just be like, yeah, they don't know. I'm like, the whole gym's against me right now. Yeah. yeah. You know? I, I remembered one. So uh, I grew up lower middle class. Like, we never had to struggle for food, but yeah. I didn't get the brand new shit all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm probably, I probably have my license. So I'm maybe, I don't know. I'm probably 15, 16. And I'm getting ready for basketball season. It's summertime. So my routine was pretty normal. Play basketball all morning. Go work with my strength coach in the afternoon. Come home, play video games, stick around. And then I'd go back and play more basketball or do cardio on my own. Um, and I'm still doing, like, uh, we call them 10-10s or 10-30s. Basically, incline on the treadmill as high as you can full speed and you sprint for whatever 10 seconds or 30 seconds rest for 10 or 30 back and forth you do as many as you can or not as many but a couple rounds right just intervals heel sprints uh i didn't have an ipod or an iphone that we're talking like it's probably 2003 i had a cd walkman oh my god you're so, old <laughs> and so uh so cd walkman for the like a portable cd player some of you guys Half of them don't even know what that that's is. what i'm saying so you know what a cd is hopefully it's in your yeah, grandpa's yeah, yeah. house and it's a walkman and so it's like a little player and you just plug your high headphones in there's no wireless headphones i have some buds in and it's probably seven o'clock on like a wednesday like the busiest time at a commercial gym and I'm fucking hoofing. Like, I'm <laughs> bay watching. You know, I was ripped, dude. I, as a junior in high school, I was a fucking stallion. We need stallion. pictures. I, I'll show you. I was a stallion. Peaked early, but I was a stallion. You man. sound like every other old dude say, I used to, yeah. bitch. Nah, but 15. those guys are talking about, like, when they're 23. I was 16 when I peaked. <laughs> I'm fucking... That's even sadder. Yeah. Yeah, my life is sad. I'm not trying to hide it. I'm sharing it here on the internet. I'm fucking ripping through. And I think there's... chose to grow a mullet? I think there's flames. Right. Back to my story. I think there's flames coming off my fucking ankles like I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Fucking ripping 
my hand gets caught in my Walkman's Walkman. wire. <laughs> the Walkman falls from the, the water holder onto the treadmill, hits the treadmill, and fires behind <laughs> me like a goddamn rocket. The thing hits the wall behind me, fucking explodes <laughs> into a thousand pieces, and everyone's fucking turned around. I'm like, oh, shit. I had to jump off this thing, try to fix it. <laughs> Look around. I'm all right. And then fucking right back to it. Yeah. Um, uh, I just remember one... Funny. It, this happens a lot and I'm sure I don't know if this happened to you guys because you guys are bigger than I am on social media but I had my headphones on at Barbell and a lot of fans come to Barbell and they want to take pictures sometimes they want to take pictures of me oh um, my god I know where this is going so some guy came up and he's like oh like all happy and stuff and he's like has his phone out and then just like like this I'm like and I was like oh shit yeah and I'm like okay cool so uh, uh, I started walking with him and then I'm like do you want to take it by the school or what he goes what are you talking about he goes oh you want to take a picture of me he goes now, can you film my yeah. set? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm like oh, damn. Gosh. And they're like, how do you, you play that you off? Cool. You, dude, that's the most douchiest, baggiest thing ever. That's like, like that kind of old school thing where the cute girl or whoever's in front of me and they kind of wave or look. And so you get all happy, like, hey, and they're waving to the guy behind but that, you. That's, that makes sense. This one is like, it's similar vibe, oh, though. fuck. Like, oh, this guy's going to recognize me. Like, I'm so, oh, you recognize me? He's like, no, who the fuck are you? You know? <laughs> yeah. That's how it feels like. Yeah. I, I'm sure. So what did you do? I just fucking recorded the Jumped off the bridge shit after. <laughs> Yeah And then uh, What about you? I don't think I've ever had any Like super embarrassing things happen um, I think Basically like Because of CrossFit You know double unders Like maybe like a boot popped out one time Or something But nothing yeah. Maybe a boot popped out <laughs> I think you would know If your boot popped out <laughs> But like I mean It's never been like boom You know what I mean It's like It gets uncomfortable And you're like Ooh Like let me fix that yeah, But it's yeah. never been like Oh my god Everything is exposed And like anything like that you know but some of that i think embarrassment too like the walkman thing i is a funny story but like if that happened to me now i wouldn't be embarrassed right but and it's like i, I don't give 16. a fuck like That's i'm I like mean. my ass is out but when you were 16 and your boob popped yeah. out you might be embarrassed but now yeah. i, like, I, I mean, tried yeah, thinking back on that. like now the type of fitness that we're into like how could you get embarrassed besides like have you ever peed when you deadlift? Well, no. I actually have really strong pelvic muscles. Um, because Weird. No, it's super common. No, for real. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. How, how quick do you pee when you no. go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> this is done? We did come nah, in here. She listen. said I like to spend as little time listen. as possible. Yeah. <laughs> listen. No, it's really common in CrossFit when, yeah. when women are doing double unders that they pee. Yeah, or good or when they deadlift, deadlift, yeah. Or when they clean that yeah. they pee, especially if, they, if they've had children because their pelvic muscles kind of get like you know not Is as that the strong that holds the yeah your your pee together or your pee in um so i you... know i've never peed and I, like i used to think about it and i would be like man am i not lifting heavy enough yeah I'm a bitch. that i'm not like fucking peed you know what i mean because i would get girls that were like so you must be like super confused the first day that you finally pee you're like happy and like, i've never peed when i've lifted no, I'm just saying, but like if it back then when you're thinking about it like Damn, I'm strong. I peed. Oh, fuck. I peed, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's literally never happened. I would see girls that were like cleaning 175 and peeing in or like a little bit. And I'd be like, oh, damn. Like, you know, I'm cleaning like 190, 200 Nothing. and it's not happening. Guys, uh, I think fart and shit themselves a lot. Hasn't Ooh. happened to me, but there's a story I think of Ed Cohn uh, told me. Oh, my gosh. Greatest power lifter of all time. Uh, shitting himself mid squat. And you can like feel it going up the squat suit. That's disgusting. I've uh, I've <laughs> definitely had stuff like pop out. Um, Whoa, that what does Fart, that, farting? Oh, what does pop out mean? You got me thinking some weird like, shit. Like it's coming out. It hasn't like reached my underwear, uh, but it's like, okay, like I need to go use the bathroom after the set. Um, <laughs> I've asked people for spots I didn't know and farted during a oh set. Oh, my God. That's the worst. You can't Wait, control it. You is know? this truth or myth? Um, a one time I read or heard or something about this guy who pushed himself so much that like his anus like rose butted out. rose butted. Yeah, did that really happen so like his butthole like i'm sure it's went possible out? it's well, same thing well, if no, you have a weak butthole uh, sphincter and maybe it's fucking well, there's a guy that we, we all know that talks about that happening to him like, what, what? That's scary. Yeah, yeah. That's I think my so butthole, uh, please butthole, stay inside me the rest of my life. <laughs> but I feel like that only happens when you've played with that area and it's like loose. I don't know. No, I don't no, think it has think to purely do with so butt much. sex if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, and about. I think you're pushing so much. Like when those I've grinded the hardest. You need to push harder. Life. No, I think it's what uh, Stacy's talking about with sphincter type muscles. Some are, it may just be weaker, and so then you're 
intestines come out your butt. Um, same thing as like a girl peeing. Some are just weaker than others. Yeah, a guy's some have butthole, had like babies. Yeah, a guy's forever. butthole yeah. might just be weaker. Maybe maybe it's the same as like hernias and stuff. I don't know. I'm no doctor, but in my head, uh, hernias and things. It's just some people are more genetically predisposed to have that happen. If you got a weak butthole, your butthole is going to turn. And then out some people you. are willing to push that far. I am never willing to push that no, far. No, no, my butthole. I do not care inside. if I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, you all can call me a weak bitch. I no, am not, not pushing yeah. that much. I don't want muscles. I want yeah. my butt inside me. I remember. Uh, so th there was this girl that I really, like, really, really liked at, at school, right? You know, obviously I was a bitch. I wouldn't you know, say anything to her. Um, but I told my friend, right, that I liked her. And then he goes up to her and, like, he's in love with you, this, that. And, like, I sat <laughs> next to her in class, right? Um, and, like, because then I found out because her friend was, like, oh, like, <laughs> basically, like, this is what your friend said in front of all these girls about her, right? So she's super embarrassed. I had to sit next to her in class. She doesn't like me. Um, and then I, I just want to kill myself, right? Um, I, didn't, I also don't say anything to this girl for the rest of my school year. Awkward. Uh, super awkward. We sat next to each other the whole time. Um, I go to the gym, and I tell one of my friends there, right? Like, I tell him I'm, like, super embarrassed, and he's just laughing. And th at this time, all the people at the gym are older, right? And then I tell him the story, and then he's just like, damn, that fucking sucks, all these things. And we're talking about it. And then maybe like a month or two goes by, and then I see this girl at the gym, the girl that I like. Like, mm -hmm. so this is now like people are getting into like fitness and stuff. Uh, but she was there doing her thing, and then uh, I'm like, what the fuck? And then she goes up to my friend, right? And then she sees me, and she, like, I, could, I don't know what she said, but she basically was like, oh, like. You guys. Him, right? He looks at me and then just starts dying. Ah, oh, that was his sister. Oh, oh my God, that's. But funny. you didn't know that. I had no idea. Oh. He, he was just older and like graduating yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. it was just like, like yeah. perfect yeah. thing. Yeah. And did you talk to her? No. no, no still, <laughs> relax, still relax. No, no, no. But he would just like make fun of me. And this shit, isn't you know? a rom com. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, didn't know I wish it was. But yeah, that's, that, that, I feel like there's so many more things that are embarrassing, but now we're just so over it. Yeah, they're not as embarrassing. We're so used to it, I think. Like that so Walkman thing, like it, it, shit like that. We have happen. AirPods I feel now. So yeah, or whatever. Out. Like, But even if it well, did. Well, you like, don't, but yeah. But if, <laughs> if I drop my phone in the gym or something, it wouldn't be funny. But it's just If you I was brought 16, out a Walkman right now, I'd be like, I'll look at you and be like, oh, that makes sense. I'd be down, dude. You retro. probably would. Yeah, yeah, retro. This guy thinks retro is cool. Can you guys please let him Everyone know? Everyone knows retro is cool. Vintage is like literally the hottest shit on the market. But not your What's kind the of vintage. Selling? No, because I'm a trendsetter, not a trend follower. Oh. Yeah. Have you done it where you're like listening to music and someone's trying to talk to you and you're screaming at them and then a commercial gym doesn't have music, so you're just screaming in the gym? My headphones uh, are like uh, wireless earbuds or whatever, but they're sound canceling. Um, and so sometimes like sound canceling. <laughs> our airpods are sound they're, canceling no they're too. not they're not you're just a hater mine are real uh, but so like sometimes the gym is loud as shit or like what I'm doing is loud as shit and I can't even notice yeah like just even like racking a plate like I'll just fucking slide it onto the bar and I'm probably pretty obnoxious but I just can't hear it it's not me trying to be obnoxious yeah, yeah. but now we got a leco plates and shit in my commercial gym dude we jam it is it like a a Big gym, it's like a big a, branch. It's huge, yeah, yeah. But it's just a commercial gym. But well, like uh, all twenty fours are getting illegals now. Wait, yeah. I need to switch to yeah. twenty four. LA is like that's way what I'm behind. At. That's what I'm at, and, uh, and we have two big old wood platforms to deadlift. In. I'm yeah, definitely they switching. Like a, they allow cleans. They have a leco bar sometimes. Mine has a leco bars and plates. Yeah, I need to switch. It's yeah. done. Well, I guess uh, there's not that much stuff to be embarrassed about in the gym. You guys let us know. If something has happened to you and you think it's embarrassing, let us know because we're boring and we're I old. am just embarrassing yeah. is the whole issue, yeah, so I'm look, used it, to it. Look, he has a fucking mullet. Do you guys think he's embarrassed of anything else? <laughs> he's going to kill us one day. Um, I, if you guys I'm have a, a, a good gym story, a funny, embarrassing story, uh, leave it in DM the comments it to below. Nadim. He said that in the other video, so why wouldn't you say if it you're this oh, if, if you're a girl. If you're a girl, if you're a guy. Nadim. If you're a, a girl, it's can't. more likely that I'll see it if you DM it. But uh, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, the funniest one, the best one, make sure it's believable and real. Don't try to like fake it. Yeah, don't do us. bus. Uh, but we'll post it in the next video, and we'll say for last video, shout you guys out. Um, yeah, and uh, you guys have been liking this video so far. Like, you guys keep leaving like really good responses. Um, you guys are liking it. I know you guys said you guys want them longer, so we're trying to push it a little bit. But eventually, we can maybe do something that's a little bit different for you guys. Um, yeah, and if there's anything you guys would want to see us talk about, uh, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, and also same thing with guests. If you guys don't want Stacey on anymore, let us know. Bitch. We'll get, we'll get a different guest. Do on. not let them know. I'm coming back. <laughs> Yeah, see you guys. Bye, guys.